praise God. Listen, I want to welcome here. This is Ben Lim here. Of course, every single month, I like to give a prophetic forecast of each month. I believe that God is speaking, okay? God is always speaking. He's speaking through his prophetic servants. He's speaking. Remember, and prophets are servants. Prophets are not pious and pride, but prophets are first and foremost servants. Someone say amen, okay? Prophets are first and foremost friends and then they're servants, okay? Because you can only be a true servant if you're a friend of God. <clears throat> and so I'm really excited because uh, yesterday I saw that Dr. Ronnie Howard Brown, and I, I think it was the last month's uh, prophetic broadcast, I believe. But, you know, there's a boomerang that's taking place. There's a comeback. And, uh, you know, of course, Dr. Ronnie Howard Brown, he was arrested. Uh, there was a warrant out. In fact, I believe it was an unlawful warrant uh, out for him. And, of course, he turned himself into the jail. He was arrested by the sheriff. And then 30 minutes later, he got out on bail uh, just for 500 measly stinking dollars. That's nothing. And then yesterday, he had lunch with the same sheriff. That arrested him, that indicted him, that came against him, that was spoken evil about him on live television, live press conference. And he had lunch with that same sheriff, and now they're working together. Come on now, some say working together. They're working together uh, to open up Hillsborough County in Florida again. Isn't that an awesome testimony? And, and sheriff, uh, the same sheriff is going to be coming to Dr. Rodney's church. The first day it opens up on Sunday. Isn't that incredible? So God is good. And I'm believing for uh, boomerangs like that. I'm believing for comebacks just like that. I'm believing for uh, that every area where there's been a setback, there's going to be a comeback. Every area where there's there's been a, a ban, there's going to be a boom and a boomerang. So bang, bang, bang in Jesus' name. So don't say amen. So I, I'm excited for that. So listen, guys, I welcome you today. Uh, welcome. God bless. Love and, and blessings. Listen, tomorrow uh, I am uh, ministering in Orange County in Anaheim. So catch us live, okay, on site. So meet us tomorrow, Anaheim. It's going to be, it's May Day. It's May Day. And uh, Saturday, I am also uh, ministering in North Hollywood, Saturday evening, all right? And a Sunday morning, of course, in Anaheim at our 12 noon service. Come and see us. It's our merge services. God is doing so many, 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 many great things. Shoo, Karaboska. Fire, fire, fire. And also, if you didn't know, tomorrow is May Day. Someone say May Day. Uh, and of course, May Day, uh, there's a whole initiative called Reopen America. Or reopen California. So number of people are protesting <clears throat> in key uh, specific strategic places. So I know a number of people, actually groups, this group called Reopen California is going to be protesting <clears throat> in Sacramento at the city hall, at the state capitol. People are going to be protesting in Ventura, in Santa Maria, in Los Angeles, all around. Why? Because we believe that America needs to be open fully. The economy needs to be open. Regu we need to go back to normal. We need to break the socialistic, tyrannical, tyr tyrannical dictatorship rule. And we believe that things are going to be open like never before. And tomorrow, someone say tomorrow, <clears throat> is May Day. And I believe something great is going to shift in your life. If you believe it, say amen. Listen, give me some hearts and likes here uh, before I go on to the word here. <clears throat> well, I want to congratulate you because we made it, okay? We made it in midst of this pandemic, in midst of this lame-demic, in midst of uh, a lot of uh, just nonsense. We made it uh, to the month of May, amen? And remember, like I said yesterday, all right, uh, divorce couldn't kill you. That's why you're still here. Separation couldn't kill you. That's why you're still here. That abuse, that molestation couldn't kill you. That's why you're still here. So ain't no coronavirus gonna kill you, and ain't no uh, ain't no uh, uh, missing pieces of toilet paper gonna kill you neither. Okay, someone say amen. This too shall pass. And as I prophesied many times before, okay, I believe from April to May, the ban will lift from May to June. There will be a boom in Pentecost. Someone say, boom. <clears throat> 
And then from August to September, there will be a full boomerang. Someone say boomerang. If you believe that, say amen. Which means there's going to be a, a wild comeback like never before. Come on. Someone say comeback, kid. Come on. Someone say karate, kid. What the? So listen, I want to go into the prophetic word for the month of May. I'm excited. Uh, May 30th. Uh, it is 10 years of me being in full-time ministry. I started my church as my life on May 30th, 2010. So May 30th this month is going to be 10 years of me being in full-time ministry. Isn't that uh, a great accomplishment? It is. But... Uh, applaud me and uh, give thanks to the Lord when I make it to 15 and 20. Someone say amen, all right? Uh, but I really believe that we're coming to a new day, a new year, a new season, a new era, a new name, a new face, a new brand, a new glory, a new anointing. Someone say new, new, new. Come on, in Espanol, it is nuevo. Come on, nuevo porte, nuevo, new port, nuevo, in the nombre de Jesus. Amen, nuevo portar. Someone say amen. So in this month of May, I want to give you this word. Uh, listen, we're going to go into the word of God and give me some hearts and likes right now. Do share because I'm about to go into the word of God. Listen, I want us first and foremost, I want us first and foremost to go into the word of God. Exodus 15, 26. This is so good. Okay. Listen, the Hebrew month for the month of May. And if you know me, if you follow me. I like to go into the Hebrew roots, uh, the Hebraic roots, okay? There is a Hebrew calendar. We're on the Gregorian calendar in America and in most of the world. But, uh, you know, uh, the Bible is very clear uh, that there's a biblical timeline. There's a Jewish timeline. There's a biblical. And remember, it's not just about Jewish, but it's it's the timeline of God. It's the dates of God, okay, times and seasons of God, the sons of Issachar are aligned with it and know how to move and flow with it, so um, May is the Hebrew month of ER, someone say ER, no, I did not say ER, I said ER, I-Y-A-R, someone write that down, I-Y-A-R, and if you're going to be taking notes, someone uh, get your pens and, and pads ready, or someone say amen, so, uh, it is a Hebrew month of E-R-I-Y-A-R, -R, okay? And this is going to be so good, okay? My gosh, okay? So we're going to go to the Word of God. I already gave you the scripture. This is going to be the prime scripture for this month, all right? If you receive it, say amen. Exodus 15, verse 26. God said, if you, uh, Moses said, excuse me, if you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in His eyes, if you pay attention to His commands, and keep all of his decrees. I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians. For I am the Lord who healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. You took my sin and you healed my disease. I am the Lord, your healer. Come on, choir, sing it again. I am the God. That healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I took your sins, your pain, your loneliness, your depression. Oh, I took your addictions. Oh, I took your lostness. Oh, I took your darkness. Oh, I took your habits. Oh, I took your generational sins, your pattern. Oh, I took your coronavirus. Oh, I took your bankruptcy. Oh, I took your poverty. Oh, I took your sins. And it healed all your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. Someone say, Amen. My God. See, the reason why this is the key scripture for this month of ER is because, remember, last month we left Egypt, okay? We left Egypt on the last month. So now as we're in the wilderness, wandering, seeking God, searching for the face of God, as we're wandering, this is the time where they got healed. This is a time where God met the Israelites and he spoke to them and said, if you follow me wholeheartedly, if you follow me wholeheartedly, my commandments, my statutes, my decrees, then I will not put on you 
the same diseases that are put on the Egyptians. Listen, there is a distinction to the people of God. There is a difference to you, you, your life, and those other non-believers and unbelievers who don't follow Jesus. There is a distinction, and God has promised, He's declared that if you follow me, Come on, somebody. As you left Egypt, as you left the past life, stop looking back. It's done with. It's gone away. May is a month of ER, which means it is a month of sweetness. It is a month of healing. It is a month where the Jewish people began to drink of the water. We already know this story. Come on. The waters of Mara. Someone say Mara because Mara means bitterness. The Jewish people were fleeing and they were in the wilderness and they were drinking from the waters of Mara and the water was bitter. Have you ever drank bitter water? The water was bitter. They could not drink it. It did not satisfy. It was giving them a bad taste. Come on somebody. And as they were drinking the waters of Mara in this very month of ER, in this very month of May, someone say hallelujah, Raboshka, as they were drinking the bitter waters, what did God speak to them? He said, if you follow me, then I will bring you healing. I will bring you wholeness. Come on, healing in your business, in your marriage, in your mind, in your family. Come on. Have you been tormented the last few days? Come on. I know there's some people watching right now where you felt depressed, where you felt like you couldn't sleep. You had, you didn't have good night's sleep in the last three days. I'll break that off right now. Roboshka. There's a number of you watching where you've been worried, you've been stressed and concerned about all the changes that's taken place, about all the suddenlies. Come on. Robobo. Remember, your faith brought you this far, but you need an upgrade of another level of faith to go to the new season. Come on. Faith, faith, faith. Come on. There's a new level of faith. There's a new grace. There's a new realm of faith that's coming upon you. <clears throat> so God meets the Israelites at the waters of Mara. Praise God. Someone say hallelujah. At the waters of bitterness. And what does he say? He says, take the log and throw it in the water. Oh my gosh. And of course the log stands for the cross. Of Jesus Christ. The law stands for the dead works. The law stands for the old nature. The log, L-O-G, okay, take the, uh, the speck or the plank or the log out of your own eye. The log stands for the cross of Jesus Christ. And God speaks to the Israelites and says, if you want to, if you don't want to drink bitterness anymore, if you want to move into sweetness and healing and wholeness, Throw in the cross. Come on. The only way to true healing is the cross. The only way to true miracles is the cross. Listen, you don't need to be bitter anymore. You need to go through the cross. You need to throw the log in the waters of Mara. Be transformed. Be transfigured. Be renewed and enter into sweetness. And there the Lord commanded them. And he said, if you throw the log into the waters of Mara, every area of bitterness. Come on. Throw the cross. Come on. Put the cross to work. Put the cross into the areas of bitterness in your life. And when you do that, someone say amen. And when you do that, then you will have sweetness. And God said, I am the God who heals all your diseases. Come on. Come on. I will not bring any of the diseases. I will not bring. Listen, they're diseased. You're healed. They're, they're sick. You're whole. They're infirmed. You're strong. All right, all right, they're, they're in stress, you're healthy. They're worried about coronavirus, you are not. They're stressing about what CNN and media and the pandemonium says and talks about, but you are happy, you're joyful, you're free. Your mind is anointed by the Spirit. Come on, the mind that is led by the Spirit is life. The mind that is led by the flesh is death. Carnal is death. Fire, 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 fire. So this is the month, if you're with me, so say amen. This month, ER, is the month of healing. It is a month of miracles. It is a month where your Mara, is, your bitterness is turning into sweetness. Some say amen. This is the same month, people of God, where the Israelites were leaving Egypt. And, and, and it felt a little... A little uh, new. It felt different. This is the same month where they left Egypt and they're in the wilderness. They're wandering and they're uh, experiencing God. So E-R-I-Y-A-R 
is actually an acronym. What does that mean? An acronym, like B-E-N, Ben, is an acronym for, for Blessed uh, uh, English Nancy, whatever, right? So it's an E-R, is an acronym for this verse. I am the God who heals all your diseases. Isn't that incredible? E-R, I-Y-A-R, it is an acronym uh, to this verse. My gosh. God is wanting to release healing in, in this month of ER, in Jesus' name. And listen, let me tell you why this is so important. Because this month, uh, one of the special significant things that happens in this month is uh, the second Pesach. Whoa, I'm about to preach. Someone say, preach Pastor Ben. It is the, it's called the Pesach Shunning. I'm, I'm going to write that here. Man, if you're, if you're glad you, you joined, someone say amen. Wow. Maraboshka. All right. So on May 8th, okay, which is actually the 14th of ER. So in two Fridays time, my gosh, some say preach passive. Listen, it is, it, it is Pesach Shani. Pesach Shani. And what that means is there's a second Passover. And you might say, wait, how is there a second Passover? There's only one Passover. There's only one Easter. All right. How is it a second Passover? Is the Lord put a second Passover for those who did not properly have a first Passover. If they missed it, you can have a second Passover and tap into the grace of God. Tap into the whole Lamb of God. Tap into the anointing and the smearing of the blood of Jesus. Our God is not only an awesome God, but our God is the God of second chances. This is a second Passover. And listen, Chuck Pierce prophesied that uh that uh you know this cur this plague is gonna live by passover amen and and passover week and we've been experiencing passover miracles all right but there's a second passover and i decree and i declare that in the second passover may 15th and in fact all right governor newsom of california said that may 15th california will lift officially so many governors said may 15th may 15th may 14th may 15th all right, Karaboska, something's gonna shit, but May 8th, someone say May 8th, is Passover, is Pesach, uh, Pesach, uh, Shani, which is the second Passover. May 8th is the second Passover. God's gonna do something that's gonna be a uh, 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 second grace. Roboska, God is the God of second chances. Come on, touch your people right now. Fire, fire, fire in Jesus' name. So, isn't that incredible? So, someone say amen. Someone say, I receive it. So, God's going to do that for you. If you felt like you missed it, God's going to do it. If you felt like you weren't good enough, God's going to do it. If you felt like you missed the first Pesach, you, 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 you missed your time, your opportune Kairos moment, your, God's going to do it. I declare right now, May 8th, Pesach Shunning. God's going to do it. I declare even May 15th, God's going to do it. This month of May is a month of mega. Someone say mega, mega miracles. It's a month of mega miracles and movement. God's moving you. There's going to be miracles. And there's going to be manifestations of the glory of God. Someone say amen. Listen, and I want to talk to you about this thing as well. Because this month of ER, it is an in-between month. Okay, my gosh. Of course... We just celebrated Passover, okay, Pesach, uh, which is the slaughtering of the whole Lamb of God and about fleeing Egypt. Amen? Some say amen. So it's really about redemption and deliverance. Amen? It's about recompense as you flee. As you flee, you leave with sevenfold over. So that's that's what just happened. And right now it's ER. Some say ER, ER. And then it's it's... A connecting month and time unto Pentecost. Some say Pentecost, which is Shavuot, okay? Which is when Moses received the Ten Commandments. And 3,000 years later, which is when the church received the baptism of fire and the Holy Spirit in the upper room. Let me tell you why Shavuot, Pentecost, is so important. 
Because it had to do about the law of God coming down. The government, the kingdom. It has to do with a new Acts Day church. Come on, somebody. Has to do with a new apostolic movement. Come on, give me some hearts and likes, people. Has to do with a new apostolic governmental order that's come in place. And of course, it also has to do with the harvest. Someone say harvest. Because uh, on Mount Sinai, when the law of Moses came down when the Ten Commandments, the tablets came down on Mount Sinai. 3,000 people died. 3,000 people were smitten right there because of how they tried to touch the mountain. But years later, on Acts chapter 2, in the upper room, on Shavuot, on the day of Pentecost, the fire of God fell, and they all began to wake and bake and shake and quake. And as they were drunk and filled with the new wine, fulfilling the prophecy of Joel, fulfilling the what the prophets have said, that uh, uh, upon all flesh, uh, the Holy Spirit will come upon all flesh, and all will prophesy. And when that when the Holy Ghost fell on the baptism of the Father, amen, the Father's baptism, what happened there? 3,000 were added on to the church right there as Peter stood up and preached the gospel. Someone say, preach Pastor Ben. Roboshka, which means that there's a harvest that's coming. But from Passover to Pentecost, from Pesach to Shavuot, from one divine time frame to the next divine time frame. We are in this month right now called ER, which is the month of healing which is the month of mega miracles, which ER is a month of sweetness. Come on, somebody. He's turning your Mara, your bitter waters, into waters of sweetness, waters of healing. He's turning your, your. Uh, he's in this month of ER. He's causing you to be filled, uh, to be filled with second chances, with Pesach Shani. Amen. And also this word, uh, in the month of ER, ER is also known as the month of radiance. Some would say radiance as a month of light. And let me tell you why this is so good. Because ER also comes from the root word or, O-H-R, O-H-R, which stands for light. Or, which stands for light. So this month comes from the root word or, which stands for light. Because this was a time where God supernaturally provided for the Israelites manna. Come on, someone say, man up. Someone say, I want my man up. Someone say, I want my woman up. Okay, this is a month where God provided manna. <clears throat> because manna is the bread of life. is the word of God. And brings light. And it, 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 the Bible says that, it was so white and flaky, it was fluffy, that it looked like specks of light. My gosh. So this is a month where God's going to lead you with daily bread. God's going to provide for you fresh manna, not stale. Don't be greedy with your stimulus checks. Don't be greedy with your fat self. No, he's going to provide divine uh, fresh manna, not stale, not stale with maggots and crickets. It's going to be fresh manna. Some say amen. I declare right now, release fresh bread, fresh breath, fresh manna from heaven in Jesus' name. Bang, 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 bang in Jesus' name. Some say amen. So, <clears throat> and the last thing I want to talk about before I close in prayer is the month of ER is a very important, special, holy month because it's a month of introspection. It is a month where we're counting the omers. Omers. Omers, which stands for wheat and barley and harvest. It stands for a measure. Some say measure. This is a month where the Israelites were tested in the wilderness. So this is a month where you're going to be tested. You're going to be measured. You're going to go through the measuring rod. You're going to go through the measuring stick. You're, you're going to go through <clears throat> the measurements of God. So every single day, the Israelites would count the Omer, okay? They would count the Omer, which means they would collect the barley. They would measure the barley every single day until Pentecost, until Shavuot. So I declare right now that you're going to be 
going deep with God. You're going to experience the fullness of God. You're going to introspect. The Lord's going to mature you. He's going to grow you. He's going to get you ready in this wilderness, in the month of ER, as, as you begin to cry out to the Lord in this month of ER, uh, which is the same month that God let the Israelites out of the will through the wilderness through 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 the wilderness so in this month he's going to begin to cause your heart to go deep you're going to be new you're going to be mature hallelujah you're going to be radiant with light new manna someone say hallelujah and the last thing i, I, I want to say remember this month er is a month of healing and sweetness and radiance miracles movement if you believe that if you feel that say amen it's a month of the second Pesach, Pesach Shani, the God of second chances. My gosh, bang, bang. And also, again, this the counting of the Omers for 49 days until Pentecost. Of course, Pentecost, Shavuot, Penta means five or 50. 50 days. This is 49 days until Pentecost. 49 is seven times seven. All right, God commanded the Israelites and said, count your omers for seven weeks. Seven times seven, 49 days until Shavuot, until the harvest, okay? Collect until the great harvest comes. Count until the great harvest comes. Measure until you enter into the fullness of time. You follow me? So this is a month of 49, seven, seven, seven weeks Seven days is a month of perfection. Seven times seven is a month of perfection as we go into Shavuot, Pentecost. Someone say amen. Listen, I want to pray for you right now. Because in this month of ER, we're going to see California open. We're going to see America open. We're going to see a boom. Someone say boom. Come on. Take it to the boom, boom. We're going to see a boom, boom in Jesus' name. We're going to see a great boom. All right. And um, this month of ER... God's throwing the cross, all right? There's going to be healing. There's going to be sweetness. There's going to be, uh, there's going to be provision of manna, fresh manna. <clears throat> if you receive that, say amen. There's going to be uh, second chances, Pesach Shani. There's going to be light and radiance, which exposes evil and corruption, which brings light and clarity. I want to pray for you today. If you received today and if you're expecting for this new month someone to amen and i want you to give me some hearts and likes and do share okay do share but i want to pray for you right now father i pray for all my friends watching for the month of er as god said i will make a distinction between you and egypt i will make a distinction between you and your friends i will make a distinction between you and your neighbors listen you are holy you are set apart. You are consecrated. I will make a distinction between you and Egypt, says the Lord. Listen, Exodus 15, 26. If you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees, I will not bring upon you any of the diseases that I brought on them. For I am the Lord who heals you. Jehovah, Jehovah, Hallelujah. Jehovah Rapha. I am your healer. I am Jehovah Rapha. Not Rasta. I am Jehovah Rapha. I am the God, your healer. And I cover you. I hover over you. I am over you. I am with you. I am Jehovah Rapha. And I bring healing to your heart, to your womb, to your soul, to your body. To your remember what is water and drinking water stand for that stands for life that stands for currency that stands for wealth the well springs rivers currency streams streams of income so God is saying I'm about to heal your income I'm about to heal your finances I'm about to heal your provision in Jesus name I bless you I bless you I bless you in the mighty name of Yeshua listen if you guys are blessed so I'm saying, amen, this is going to be a great and mighty month. Listen, once again, tomorrow I'm going to be uh, preaching, ministering in Anaheim, California. So come and see me uh, Friday evening and uh, Saturday in North Hollywood and Sunday again in Anaheim. But happy May. 
Happy ER, we made it. It's the month of Pesach Shani, second opportunity, second chances. All right, God bless you all. Listen, uh, if you would like to sow and partner with our ministry here, there's we clicked it here, we pinned it, ways to sow. Go ahead, any financial amount will go a long way, and may the Lord bless you greatly in Yeshua's name. Someone say amen. And also, we do have our merch there. Uh, we have our merchandise, some like the Bam Fam shirt, just like what I'm wearing now. So uh, go ahead and follow that through as well in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, guys, it's Ben Lim Live. Thanks for logging on and watching. We love you. We appreciate you. Thanks for coming on, and I uh, hope to see you soon. Amen. Shalom. And do comment below. Comment below what spoke to you the most, what spoke to you, what ministered to you the most. Comment below what spoke to you and ministered to you the most. God bless you. May ER, there's going to be healing, provision. America's going to open up. Things are going to open up. As I prophesied from May to June, expect a boom in Pentecost. Shabbat. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.